What's going on everybody? Sigourney Jackson here with another episode of Hoop Politics. Appreciate y'all for watching. If y'all haven't already, hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell to stay up to date on everything that is Hoop Politics. Make sure that y'all comment below and let me know what y'all want to hear about, what you like, what you dislike. It's always greatly appreciated. We are back with another highlight breakdown today. We're doing it on a very special talent, one that I think is very special anyways, in Khalil Johnson. Khalil Johnson is a six foot eight small four from Shelton State Community College, a Division I JUCO down in Alabama. He is a 48.5% three point shooter and shoots around 85% from the free throw line. 6'8, long, very talented, decently athletic, but very, very skilled. He sent me some highlights. So if you're watching this, Khalil, much love to you, man. Keep on working. And my line is always open to you, man. Let's go ahead and get into it and let's see what we think. Catch and shoot. Very solid. I really like this right here. He has a nice pump fake, right dribble, step back, cash, come off screen, catch and shoot. So the first thing that we can really notice is the fact that even though you're 6'8", you're coming off the ball screen really, really well. You're able to catch and shoot, which is high level. You're shooting it from a good distance beyond the college line, which is also high level. It's setting you up for being able to play at the pro level. Very great at catch and shoot very great I would like to see you be able to create for yourself hopefully that highlight is going to show that here we go right here one dribble pull up into the three that's good pump fake one dribble to the right cash I like it catch and shoot keep the ball high that's actually something that a lot of people don't do you caught it high you stayed high you were able to catch and cash it out screen pop cash really really good okay what are you going to do with it work off the screen one dribble right, sidestep, cash. Okay, on the move. Everything is catch and shoot, and this seems like a very, very basic highlight take, but the thing about it that makes it so good is because you're doing nothing but skill. And skill is what translates at all levels of basketball. The fact that you're 6'8", I really like the idea that you're not trying to use your size and athleticism and trying to bully yourself and get into the rim, which you probably could do. You're staying skilled. This right here is gonna really help you out drive down under the rim pass kept moving without the ball like Steph Curry catching the corner three ball ball handoff on the ball catch cash catch and shoot okay show me okay off the spin step back cash with a hand in his face okay post up some post work is good Pump fake. Okay, good dime. And one. And one, and one. Off the catch, cash. Catch, cash. The first thing I will say is this is a very good highlight take. I know a lot of people who are watching this who do not understand basketball or don't understand how is it that I just watched two and a half minutes of nothing but catch and shoot could be considered a great highlight tape, but I'm going to tell you why. Because it showed nothing but skill and it got right to the point. Khalil being a shooting guard or a small forward, he is showing his strengths and what he brings to the table at six foot eight. That makes a major difference, okay? When you're playing the guard position and you are specifically a taller guard, not to say you don't have to show as much, but the fact that you can do a lot of things that smaller guards are considered to be able to do at a higher level or at a high level and being taller, you're already way more marketable. You're gonna get more love just off of the strength of your 6'6 and you can shoot the ball. So imagine what it's like to be six foot eight. You show great off the ball skills. You come off of a lot of screens very hard. You're catching the ball and shooting it. You keep the ball high. You're able to shoot over a lot of the defenders. And your stats already show that you're shooting the ball at a high level when you're shooting it at 45, 48% or whatever it is. You show great ball handling to be able to create for yourself. You didn't try to do too much. I like the fact that you're not really trying to cross people over and play like a smaller guard. Guard. you do just enough you get your body on them you get that separation and you rise up over them which is your strength you play to your strengths and I really 
like that. You're able to get the ball, you pass the ball, and you remain constantly moving. And that is a skill set that a lot of players don't have in today's day and age of basketball. That's actually what makes people like Steph Curry extremely hard to guard, including Klay Thompson, because they're constantly in movement. When you're constantly in movement, you don't have to have a lot of skill. And not to say that Khalil doesn't have skill. But you don't have to have a lot of skill when you're constantly moving, you constantly know how to play angles, and you're crafty, and you just know how to get your shot off. Khalil shows all of that at an early age. He's already got a lot of Division I offers. A lot of them I consider to be lower level schools, some low majors, but I know for a fact that he is high major. And just because he's not getting those offers doesn't mean that he isn't a high major basketball player. Going forward, Khalil, what I would say to you as far as things to work on is work more on getting the ball and working off of the pick and roll. A lot of times I saw you get the ball and you rejected the screen and you did create something. But the next step for you is going to be able to get yourself to a position where you're able to create for yourself and for others. And that is going to mean that you need to work more off the pick and roll. So accept the screen and start being able to use your size and length and be able to see over defenses and make that extra pass. Make the skip pass into the corner for the shooter. Get that pocket pass for the big roll and to be able to get the dunk. Or work off of that pick and roll and then I want to see you go one-on-one -on, -one on those players whoever's switching off of you which in your scenario a lot of times it's gonna be big players if you're a big guard you're gonna have smaller guards on you and so if you're not posting them up and using your body and shooting over them you're gonna probably want to get a screen and so then you got the bigger guys on you and you can create that mismatch I will also like for you to continue to work on your body even though you're 6'8", you do look like you're a thinner type of player. You look like you might be 6'8", and maybe be 200 pounds, you know, maybe 205. That's not enough weight for you to be able to go where you want to go, which is high level division one, as well as NBA. You're going to need to be able to put on maybe a good 10 or 15 pounds more. You want to get somewhere in that 215 to 220 range. That's going to help your game offensively to be able to start getting to the rack and finishing more. And then that's gonna also help you in being able to now create that middle game, which is the mid-range game for you. You show a lot of catch and shoot threes, a lot of coming off the down screens, the, the zip ups, the pin downs, and all those kind of things, elevator plays. You, you show a lot of that already. But the next step is gonna be, which you showed some already, the pump fake, into now the one dribble, two dribble, three dribble pull-ups. Start creating that mid-range game. Start being able to cuff it, you know, move people out of the way and go finish above the rim. That's gonna take your game to the next level. Going into whatever school you decide to go into next year, I would highly recommend, I would highly recommend you do not get too caught up in the levels of basketball. Well, I would say you need to go somewhere, of course, division one, but you want to go somewhere where you're going to be able to come in and play right away and play the two and the three. You want to be looking at rosters where they already have six nines, six ten, six eleven people on that team. And so, you know, you're solidified in playing and playing that three. You don't want to get in a situation where you're going to play a lot of stretch four, small ball four. Yes, you will be successful at the collegiate level doing that but that is not going to put you in the best situation for you to go to the next level professionally. You want to play on that two and three. You want to be in positions where you're able to catch the ball, create for yourself and for others, and you're able to just have green light to shoot it whenever you want. I think you'll be able to get that wherever you go because your percentages are already high at the three point line, but you want to make sure that that carries on wherever you go. You want to go somewhere where you're going to be able to come in, get a newcomer of the year, no matter what conference it is. You want to come in and try to get 14, 15 a game and just dominate. I think that you have the opportunity and you have the skill and the size and the length to be able to dominate wherever you go. But the first thing that you have to make sure you do is pick the right fit. That is going to be the biggest thing for you. You want to have the right place to go with the right coach who believes in you, the right system, and you got to bet on yourself. And that's all I got, guys. Make sure that y'all like it, y'all subscribe, and you hit the notification bell. If you got a highlight tape that you want me to break down, whether you're a guy, girl, high school, college, it doesn't matter, send it to me on Instagram or on Twitter at hoop underscore politics. Both of them are the same. Or just put it in the comment section and give me the link and let me know what you want to hear about. What do you think Khalil is going to go as far as Division One? Do you think he's a high major player? Do you think he's low? Do you think he's even Division One? Put all that below. Make sure that y'all follow him. Uh, I'll make sure I put his Twitter under as well and his Instagram. God's always in control. Peace.